Hi everyone, so it's been a while since I posted a video, I was away on travel. I rearranged my reptile room, so let's do a full video. As you can see we start from this side to here and here. So let's start from the right side of the room and go species by species. Okay, so if you look at this terrarium, this is now a 240 centimeters long terrarium. As you can see, there's a decent sized pool and cool end of the terrarium. And then there is the warm end of the terrarium. And this is for our friend Henry, the uh, water monitor. As you can see, Henry is very friendly and he always wants to visit us and he likes to be pet. And he's gonna be a big boy, so I'm giving him as much space as I can. This is, as I said, 240 centimeters so far, connected with a hole uh, and with a decent sized pool. Um, and he gets way bigger and this is cramped for him. Then I will get a custom built cage. Right, Henry, sorry about this. I need to get you in. Otherwise, he'll come out. All right, so here we have a cage within a cage. So we have our black headed python in there. You can probably see him. The cage door is a bit dirty. And then here we have the Mexican Tairi uh, king snake, the black king snake. Um, I have put his enclosure in there because he likes warmth and that's the space that I have for him. Now on top I have a bunch of smaller enclosures. Here I have a Monocentropus palfori male, hard to see him really. Uh, here I have a Mexican, well not a Mexican, a trapdoor spider. Um, basically a bucket filled with dirt, hard to see anything ever. Here I have my female uh, Monocentropus Balfouri. She is in there hiding, but you can see the hole that she created here. All right. Here I have another uh, full container filled with uh, wood, pieces of wood, because we have uh, two Dynasties Hercules uh, larvae in there. So let me quickly put you guys to the side. It's hard to see the larvae, so I'm not gonna look at those, but I'll show you something else. Here in this one, I have the Indian tiger centipede. Let's have a look at him. As you can see, it's getting to be a big boy living the life in this nice enclosure all right on the side we have another one of these critter keepers where I have my very nice adult female green battle blue tarantula chromatopalma sienna pubescens right underneath her I have a aggressive male um, Terraphosa blondi. Uh, she normally gives us a nice threat display. Let me bug her a little bit with this piece of. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think you saw all of that, but he is feisty. That's for sure. Let's see if I can get him away. So we don't get his legs stuck. All right. Um, Terraphosa blondi is probably one of my favorite arachnids. All right, here we have a bucket filled with roaches. Three different species of roach live here. It's stinky but it's humid and it works fine for them. All right, on this giant cage, we have splice, uh, no animal. 
Here we have a um, green tree python from the Kofiao Islands. This is the female. On top of that I have an enclosure for my um, Zenestis Spec Blue. Right here, very beautiful animal. Underneath in this big wooden enclosure I have my uh, female Terraposa Blondie. She shed a couple of weeks, well, molted a couple of weeks ago, so she's quite uh, blackish in color. Atypical for a blondie. She just ate as well. And I have some mushrooms and bromelids inside. It's a very nice terrarium for her. For her. Alright, here I have a very dirty aquarium. Uh, where I used to keep a turtle, but now I keep this beta. Very hard to see, but champion bloodlines male beta and a couple cleaner fish and a lot of snails. Let's try to look at it from up. Yeah, here he is. And then here are the guys cleaning the aquarium. Okay, going up here, I have a bunch of Diablo and StarCraft games and a couple of figurines. That's Jim Rayner and that's Sarah Kerrigan in full Zerg mode. Underneath them we have the price of this entire collection. The yellow Kofiao um, green tree python. He has about three green scales right there. And that's it. Other than that, he's like a banana with these wonderful silver markings. All right. Here um, I have two scorpions. Both are female. Uh, both are Parabutus villosus orange morph. As you can see, one of them is sitting in there. The other one is hiding in that terrarium somewhere. I'm gonna get this cage emptied and I'll put the Mexican king snake in here. Right, in this one, which is next to the scorpions, I have something. All right. As you guys can see, this beautiful pied blood red corn snake. Look at that color. That's really, really cool. All right. She needs a little basket, in my opinion. She's cold. And finally, last but the le not the least, the only remaining venomous snakes of my collection in this double terrarium. Here is the male. Hi, baby. Uh, hello. Do not free handle venom snakes, guys. I'm doing it because I know these guys very well. This is the mayo, water cobra. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know, I know, I know. Very nice, very cool snakes. I never had any issues with these guys. That's why these are the only venom snakes that I have kept. But he is blue and I don't want to mess with him so much. Just need to... Clean him up a little bit. A little bit. Uh, he will definitely shed very soon. So we'll just leave him be there. And then finally, we have the female version. Hi girl. Hello. Hi. A little bit of a uh, threat display, but not much. We don't get to see these guys hood very well. These are very, very nice animals. I am coming close to breeding age now. And I will hopefully get to breed them next season. 
All right, that's the female that I'm pissing off right now by holding her tail. But anyway, let's put her hide box back. So guys, that's basically it. And I see that she defecated in her water bowl, so we need to change that. All right, that's a quick tour of uh, what we have right now. Um, after selling most of my venomous snakes due to my son being born, this is what I ended up with. And I'm leaving you guys with this beautiful female Kofiao Island green tree python. She is now following my hand <laughs> and she would definitely take a jump at me if I let her. Alright guys, thanks for watching.